Hey everybody, I'm Stu Carter from Atomic TV. I made it back from Force Friday. I was there at Toys R Us in Tokyo, Japan, and I brought back a bunch of swag from there. Got in, got out, got the swag, and here I'm going to show it to you. First, let's talk about the promo material. Nice little handy little shopping bag. I'll give this to my son, Alex. They gave us a great, this looked like, this is free. This was free. I thought, oh wow, it's going to be a lightsaber. But no, but it's a very, it's a very nice poster of everyone's current hot villain, Kylo Ren. Look at that. It's like really slick, glossy paper. It says Toys R Us. So to get a little promo and that's a really sweet poster. So I guess I give this to my son, right? My son, Alex. And okay. Uh, then some other promo material they gave us. Boy, I'm blinded by this light. This is a Tomashi Nations uh, action figure catalog. Tomashi Nations is Bandai's, uh, that's rebranding Bandai stuff, and their action figures. So they're going to do more, and they're showing us what they're going to do more. And they're going to do a nice, it looks like a Kylo Ren. The, this is the SH Figure Art series, which are pretty nice. They're well articulated, but not terribly expensive, right? About $30 figures. They're going to do a Kylo Ren. Looks like it's going to be coming out December of this year. Uh, this Stormtrooper came out. I believe I got one of these. Uh, no, no, this one's coming out December, so it's another kind of Stormtrooper. All right, well, I get confused. And and, and nice, they're going to continue this Samurai series. They're calling it the a movie realization, just like fantasy. And these are like the Samurai dudes, like making them look like the Samurai dudes when they started getting weapons. And they're going to do the Red series, guys, too. This one's going to come out, it says uh, November. The Red one's... Help me out. Who are the red guys? They were the Queen's Guard when they had that princess, fancy, fancy princess. And she was such a pain in the butt. And, uh, and, and then it got even a gnarlier, even gnarlier version of Darth Vader as a, as a Shogun samurai kind of guy. That's That looks interesting. And look, this they're going to do the, 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 the speeder bike uh, a scout trooper guy, which Hasbro's already done in the Black Series. They're going to do their own version. Not until March of next year, but that's going to be pretty interesting. And then uh, Bandai is rightly proud of what they do with their model kits. Why don't American kids do the model kits as much as the Japanese? They really, they really go for these model kits, and Bandai really shows this off. Look at the size of this catalog and the detail they're talking about. you got to paint these. Yeah, you got to cut them. You don't have to glue them, though. I think they're all snapped together nowadays because the kids were sniffing the glue and getting... Weird, you know. They got one. They got a uh, an X uh, X wing fighter. has got lights now and sound effects, and I guess the wings move. So, yeah, you should order some of these and try them. And you would have. And they got a, a speeder bike, another one, and a snow speeder. That's nice. It's a big book to get for free. Something. Uh, now I, I did I already loaded up a video, uh, like a raw video, pretty raw, of what I recorded on scene in Toys R Us. And I showed you this BB-8. That's the new droid that everyone's talking about, right? And it's incredible because he like rolls around as a ball. So somebody made somebody made a uh, a company called um, Spheroid, which Sphero, which would imply that this is their big thing, their only thing. And uh, I guess he's an RC version, remote control version of this guy, BB-8 droid, and he's controlled by an app. I guess you get a Star Wars. That's why she was showing me that Star Wars. Somebody at the uh, Toys R Us was showing me her Star Wars cover. Well, maybe, I don't know. But, it, yeah, but that, I didn't get it because it was like $200. You know, I mean, if I got it and did the review, would all of you promise to watch it and then click all the ads so i make a lot of 200 bucks? i got to have a really popular video to make it worth Two hundred dollar buying a toy. All right, you want to see the toys though, right? Okay. Well, I got one Lego. Uh, let me let me zoom in the camera a little bit. Excuse me. Right. So I got one Lego. This is Ray Speeder. It's one. Uh, it's a new vehicle. Everyone's been seen in the promos. And uh, I think somebody mentioned that it looked like a chocolate popsicle stick. You know the ones with the two, the two popsicles and you break it apart. Not very nice to look as film. And then, uh, okay, starting with the small series, right? We've got everybody's favorite, Luke Skywalker. You know, it's sad about Luke because you thought he would be the star of the show. 
I mean, you thought, Luke Skywalker, it's about Luke Skywalker, and then here comes Han Solo and steals the whole thing, and then he doesn't do much more. He got in a car accident, though, and got messed up. I feel bad about that. And then you got this, they, don't you know, that they, they call him, this is Poe Dameron. Poe Dameron, of course, he's got a big part. He's probably going to last, like, one battle scene and get blown up. They always do that, don't they? They have, like, a guy, and make it look like, they give him a name, they're like, he's going to be really big. And then nothing, you know, he's just, no. And, and it looks like they got something going where you collect these little extra parts, and then you make something that probably has nothing to do with Star Wars, but that's how toy companies are. We'll see. I'll eat my words if, in fact, that's a critical piece of gear. And then Resistance Troopers. So are we calling this the Resistance now? I don't know, understand because we keep going back and forth in time with Star Wars. He's called Resistance Trooper. He's got a helmet, and he's got another part, and I guess you combine that part with Poe and the First Order fighter pilot, and he gets something else, uh, which I didn't I didn't get the First Order pilot. And then I guess we're all calling them First Order, store, not Imperial. Uh, these are all spoilers, I guess. First Order Flame Trooper. I like that, man. Yeah, shoot some flame. And then, see, I thought this was something he carries on his back, but no, it's another piece of something, junk, or... You know, and Mattel does this too with things. They get these pieces and you put them together and it makes it, I'm certain, I'm certain it has nothing to do with the movie. It's just how it is with toy companies. All right. Constantine Zuvio. Constantine Zuvio, of course, he's probably got a big part. He looks like some weird guy from some weird planet. But don't judge a book by its cover, right? Yeah, and... and of this series, I guess the only one I didn't get was the TIE Fighter pilot. I was kind of crazy. Uh, Finn, he's been getting a lot of play in the uh, in the previews, right? Uh, he's the guy that shows up where he first appears wearing the Stormtrooper armor. And everybody's going, what's going on? Is he a Stormtrooper or is he a good guy? Well, Stormtroopers can be good, can't they? No? All right. And then... Uh, I got a First Order Storm. Did I already do the First Order Stormtrooper? At least he's got. No, he's got another kind of battle rifle that he's like. See, this is. But uh, I guess he could probably use it on. At least that one looks like something that they might actually use. Uh, another Darth Vader. But I said in my last video, it's a new version. No, it looks like the same old Darth Vader. But he's got a little droid with him. It just says Darth Vader. It doesn't say anything weird about him. Uh, and then everyone's new favorite here, bad guy, Kylo Ren. Is this going to be the new the General Grievous of this movie? General Grievous was a bad, bad, a bad guy. You know, a good bad guy, but he didn't. I mean, he's not really. He's no Darth Vader. You know, General Grievous. Yeah, he didn't have the legs that Darth Vader had got. Darth Vader is like the bad guy for a millennium. He's going to be a bad guy. He's going to be the Beowulf. Although, excuse me, Beowulf, it, when you go to high school, you learn he was a good guy. It's Grendel. He will be the Grendel of our generation, the bad guy for all time. Uh, I got another Darth Vader. I'll give one to my son. Okay. Uh, the Black Series, a nicer series. Can you still see it? Okay. Uh, the Black Series, yeah, so Ray, the, the good young lady, with some kind of staff, a very long Staff and she's got BB-8, that droid, and a nice size. It's a good size. Does it roll around? I don't know. I haven't taken them out yet. And you notice how these are all these are all Hasbro. See, so far these are just Hasbro with Japanese packaging, Japanese letters on the package, and the Japanese safety stuff. Um, nothing from Bandai yet. Bandai has the license though for some stuff. Kylo Ren in the Black Series. He's released now. He's got his lightsaber with the handguard things. Does not light up, but he's got looks like he's got cloth. So that's nice. We'll open these up. Not tonight though. And then uh, oh, excuse me. And then uh, uh first order stormtrooper. And he's got a nice looking little uh pistol thing going there and uh, I guess a little bit of a helmet redesign and another pistol. And uh yeah, first order stormtrooper. And then see and then they gave us a promo. They gave us some free stuff. No, wait. This wasn't free. This is an exclusive. Toys R Us exclusive. Now, I'm looking at this. It says Hasbro. So my thought, this is probably going to be the same exclusive offered worldwide 
everywhere in the world today. So don't think you're getting something you're going to be selling for a million bucks on eBay. But this is what this is is the first order stormtrooper in a nice sliding slide out case and a little little things where you can hold them there. And what, what's the big deal other than that? That is you get this little uh, booklet in the back, which I kind of like, and it um, it seems to have some important intelligence schematics on the armor used by and the weapons of the stormtroopers including on oh, look at that some layered paper here some overlay paper so yeah I will cover these in depth when I get out and when I finally get ready to review these this guy let me just give it over here okay over there okay and then the last thing I have from Hasbro yeah this was the only vehicle now they gave me something you know I don't think I made it out with some guys had a put a paper some guys had a paper that uh, showed the release for all the stuff and I think I left well that one of the dog on it see there are a lot of people passing stuff out I think I messed didn't get that there's a paper with oh what I'm saying trying to say is that there's there's going to be three or four more vehicles released this year of this size it's coming up not yet so all I got here was this first order special forces TIE fighter it's not like the other hundred different TIE fighters this is a special forces TIE fighter but he's got one figure he's got a, so maybe it's a good thing I didn't buy this the TIE fighter figure because here this one includes one anyway yeah <laughs> I'll try to dig up before I leave maybe if I go to Toys R Us I'll have that sheet again I can just pick one up this shows a release of all the stuff. All right, and then the one Bandai, yeah, this is the only Bandai thing I got was uh, the Samurai Darth Vader, which I'm glad because I was crying because I thought I missed out. I thought it wasn't. I thought it was sold out, but in fact they brought these back, or they, they he just was released. So I've got the Stormtrooper that goes with this. See, and I've got now I've got the Samurai Darth Vader, so now I can do the review of both those guys at once. I wanted to do them both together, and I first saw these. Uh, at, at the toy fair of course okay okay so there you go that's my loot from the forest friday event here in tokyo and i got some other stuff from toys r us yesterday i got a bunch of beyblades and i got some transformers i'm going to show them to you before i go i'll do a, maybe a quickie look at those and uh pff, wow uh look for some more pictures coming up and reviews of all these toys and until next time have a great day Between the boring